Hello again, this is G, and I made this quick video to show you a little piece of equipment I made called the liquid alternator. And the purpose of this machine is to create a stream of three types of liquids at one kilo per second each. You can see here water, polluted water, and salt water. And what you can use this for is to create loops, closed loops that will not stack packets in them. And then you can use those loops to carry whatever temperature you want, whether it's super cold or super hot, and it will not stay change the liquid in the pipe. Let me show you an example. Okay, I've made a little loop over here, and we have a shutoff feeding it and a bridge to circulate. And you want to make sure you use a shutoff and not a valve or a bridge because a shutoff is not going to stack packets of the same kind. Here it is filled up. And you can see every packet is of a different kind here. We have polluted water, salt water, and plain water. And there are no two packets alike next to each other. So if we go ahead and interrupt this with some pliers, nothing going to stack here. And this is very important because now that you have this, you can use this for the purpose of carrying any temperature, uh, whether super cold or super hot, and it's not going to crack. And if it stops, it's not going to stack, and it's not going to crack from stacking. Okay, let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. So here we have a shutoff, and this is fed by a valve at one kilo per second. And anything that does not go through the shutoff is just fed back over this bridge and looped back into the valve. And then it's just topped up by this bridge here. These two mechanisms are exactly the same. They all output into this particular pipe. And for the most part, this works, but occasionally it will uh, have an issue where if you stop the, the shutoff here, let's say you filled your loop, you're done, and you stop this, you gotta watch this here because it can fill with the same element twice. And at that point, you just gotta drain the pipe a little bit before starting to fill another loop. So you just gotta be mindful of that because this is not a perfect system. You just gotta keep an eye on it, but it works 99% of the time. And so what you can use this type of loop for is carrying super cold or super hot liquids without cracking the pipes. And use your imagination what you can use that for. But I found that liquefying hydrogen without super coolant is one of them. And check out the link below for that. And in any case, that's all I have for you right now. This has been Greasy Hammer and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye-bye.